I'm Leo Walder for Kit Guru. This gaming PC here is from Overclockers UK and is called Titan Katana. And I hate to dampen your enthusiasm, but no, it does not use Titan graphics. The graphics card is GTX 1070. Uh, currently we're running uh, Ashes of the Singularity here at 1440p with image quality set to high. And uh, as you will see, it runs along at about 60 frames a second. Perfectly playable, very nice indeed. Uh, I originally started testing this PC at 1080 in various games and it was a total waste of time. It, it flew through them all. 1440p was quite a stiff test. Uh, 4K was beyond the graphics card. So the key component in this is uh, AMD Ryzen. This particular processor is uh, uh, Ryzen 7 1700. The default speeds are 3.0 gigahertz. Base speed turbo is up to 3.7. Overclockers has uh, set this particular processor to run at 3.8 on all cores at all times. And uh, looking in the BIOS, they didn't have to do a huge amount to actually get that speed out of it. Slightly more voltage, bump up the multiplier, job done, very nice and easy. Uh, the the cost of this PC, it's down at the more budget end of the gaming market, slightly over £1,300. Um, don't want to go more sort of on the record than that because uh, it's already changed twice in the course of this review. Um, so uh, the specification, you, you can vary almost every component in this system. Uh, there are a range of processors, for example. The 1700 is uh, not the most basic processor you can have. It's the processor that came in the particular PC we were sent. All manner of graphics cards and such like, as far as I can see from the spec, basically the uh, case is fixed. It's a Fantex Eclipse, uh, which I've previously reviewed, albeit in white. Uh, the motherboard seems to be fixed. And the uh, air cooler on the CPU seems to be also a fixed quantity. It's a Cooler Master 120mm, does a very nice job. Every other component appears to be up for grabs, so uh, prices and such like vary enormously. And there we have it, Ashes of the Singularity, actually slightly faster than I was predicting, more like 65 frames per second. So perfectly playable at 1440p. With the glass removed so we can look closer inside the Titan Katana, there are a few points that arise that look as though they might be problems. Uh, one of which is that the uh, light strip, which is a Fantex LED strip that's been added into the uh, lighting that's built into the case uh, and is controlled by this button here. Uh, let's just turn it through a... There we go. You see? Very nice, and um, goes through about eight different colors. Uh, the lighting strip, it's kind of flickering away on the camera. Actually, when you look at the thing in the real world, it's not doing that. Uh, so clearly the thing's operating at a kind of 60 hertz or some such frequency, and that's causing an interference pattern. Uh, so that looks like it might be a problem, but is not a problem. Uh, secondly, the motherboard. Uh, the motherboard is one of the few items in this uh, system that is a fixed quantity. That's the uh, ASUS Prime B350 Plus, B350 rather than X370, obviously a sign of uh, keeping the price down by overclockers. Uh, so you might think, oh, well, what do you lose out? And the answer is with the single graphics card, absolutely nothing. It's got a couple of USB 3.1s, uh, four USB 3.0s in the back panel, another two USB 3.0s in the front, and a couple of USB 2.0s. So USB 3.1, loads of USB 3.0s, which is normally the sign of a, a budget motherboard. In this instance, not a problem. So the fact it's a, uh, the budget chipset version of things, that's fine. Uh, as you can see, they built it with a Samsung M.2 SSD uh, NVMe. Uh, so you've got full performance from the storage. Around the back here, we've got a two terabyte uh, Seagate Barracuda hard drive. Uh, it's one of the new Barracudas, which Seagate has annoyingly they put the uh, C in the name up. So it's Barracuda, um, rather than Barracuda, as it always used to be. But obviously, when I say it, it's Seagate Barracuda. So it's a brand new two terabyte hard drive, so plenty of storage in the system. That's all lovely. Uh, one other thing that looks like it might potentially be a problem is the orientation of the Cooler Master 212 120mm air cooler, which looks like it's blowing the air upwards, and therefore that sounds a bit peculiar, doesn't it? Drawing it from down going up, we want it going fore and aft. Well, that's what the theory says, that's what my eyes tell me. The, in actual fact, the test figures show there's no problem whatsoever. Uh, it's slightly aggravating, and the top of this uh, Fantex case has a couple of uh, magnetically attached panels that shut off or close off the uh, perforated top so you can open it very easily. But that's obviously intended for a 120 or 240 mil liquid cooler. Uh, superb cases for uh, all-in-ones are your Fantex. Uh, in this instance that's closed and the air cooler is what you get. Again, clearly a way of saving money. 
Uh, but the fact that the uh, hole mounts for AM4, as with other AMDs, they're a rectangle rather than a square you get with Intel, means that the cooler has to go on the way it has to go on. Um, no doubt we're going to see coolers, now that AM4 is becoming a thing, we'll see coolers that allow you to orient the uh, cooler going up, down, or fore, aft. As things stand, that's just how it is. It doesn't look right to my eyes, probably doesn't look right to your eyes. It's not a problem, uh, and that's, that's really the main thing. The fourth, would that be fourth thing that might be a problem? The power supply, which in this particular PC is a Cougar VTX 650 watt bronze. Bronze. We weren't happy about bronze. We don't like bronze at Kit Guru. Bronze is a thing from the past. So we had a conversation with Overclockers UK about that. This Cougar power supply with the uh, bronze 80 plus rating, what's that all about then? Cougar's a perfectly decent brand, you know, and we do want to keep price down to a minimum. No, no, you're quite correct. Kit Guru has reviewed a couple of Cougar power supplies in recent times that are gold rated and they're very acceptable. The thing is, this is bronze. We back the power supply and every other part of the PC with the top notch warranty. It's three years, you know, a full three years. That is collect, return, parts and labor, the whole thing. Any problem whatsoever, completely covered, no question. Now that is a world-class leading warranty. No argument about it whatsoever. Don't get us wrong. We don't think it's going to go wrong in any uh, short order. It's just we don't much like the efficiency rating. Well, okay, to upgrade from bronze to gold would cost about seven pounds. Tell you what, forget the bronze. From now on it's gold and also we cut the price of the computer. It was 1400 pounds, it's now 1335. Fair enough. You're changing the bronze to gold and dropping the price? Yep, happy. Lo and behold, problem solved. Bronze goodbye and uh, welcome gold or platinum. My expectation is the straight swap in for this uh, bronze is going to be a Cougar GXS gold uh, because it's essentially the same price. So uh, great. Very happy to see that. Uh, it, it's actually quite curious because it's been that long since I've seen the system running a bronze power supply. When I was testing this, I put my hand at the back. There was actually as much heat coming from the power supply exit as exhaust as there was from the uh, case fan. Uh, very, very strange to actually sort of feel it in action. But as I say, it's gone, so there's no point dwelling on it. Overall, uh, I started this review with a couple of question marks because I really didn't know how a gaming PC with a Ryzen 7 1700 would behave. And it's been absolutely fine. Uh, it games at 1440 like an absolute charm. No problems whatsoever. The, uh, the speed, the overclock, absolutely stable, the PC's nice and cool and quiet, really no complaints. Uh, if you bump up the fan speed using the built-in fan control to the uh, loudest setting, which is how it arrived, it is quite rorty, uh, but you can easily turn it down. It doesn't seem to hurt the cooling one little bit, so who needs the noise? Turn it down, great. The, instantly, it's a Fantex fan front and rear. Uh, works absolutely fine, the uh, built-in lighting and the fan controls, absolutely fine, but then uh, I've experienced this with Fantex before, solid solid bits of hardware overall it's clearly been built down to a price if you spend another couple of hundred pounds you'll get a larger ssd you'll get a liquid cooler you'll get you know something extra for your money but as it stands if you want to get into ryzen gaming with a proper graphics card so you can game at 1440p this is absolutely a good way to go uh, very impressed by the overclockers titan katana and very pleased we got to see it if you like this video thumbs up if you don't thumbs down if you want more from kit guru please do click to subscribe head to kit guru to see the graphs and the photos there's loads more stuff on the website i'm leo water for kit guru this is overclockers uk titan katana